That was the most fucking stupid thing I have ever had to deal with. I was trying to reconnect my computer for a whole nine minutes. And, uh, I ended up having to do a troubleshooting thing. And, uh, let me just say this. I hope that fixed it. Because, uh, trust me, I, I really want to play through this, you know? And I'm not going to sit around dealing with bullshit like that. Clearly, that doesn't work. I got those. Wait, what will happen if I? Oh, nothing. Okay. Uh. Oh. I forgot to switch to the gameplay. I had it on my BRB thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> that. That was entirely on me. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not dealing with that, no. Anyway, uh, hopefully the stuff that I had to deal with got fixed. Oh, god damn. Okay, uh, just... Oh, oh, shit. Science critical meaning I need to nice and all, but can I have a fucking medikit now, please? So I don't die? Wait a minute. I forgot. I could just eat stuff.
When in doubt, eat them out. God, this sounded terrible. Okay. Well, I, I got that. Okay, what's next? Oh. More of this. That's wonderful. Oh. I like how it's standing up. Also, those warped electronic sound effects from those literally sound like a... Uh, Kind of sounds like one of those YouTube poops, you know, where it's like they have a distorted version of someone's voice or something. Not like in a creepy way. Yeah, well, I got Q beam cells, so I guess that's good. Definitely take those. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. Also, I really like how you can like hold down the button and it'll let you grab stuff. But only if it's like grabbable items that you can collect. You know, like one of those. Oh look, the thing I said I needed earlier. I finally have it. Hooray. Oh, man. Uh, still, I really, really hope that I have solved that issue that I said I was dealing with. You know, the, uh, disconnect issue. Oh, thank God. Now I can go. It's because of the Typhon, I think. Typhon of the dead. And my shoulder feels like someone just shot me with a rifle there. Just boom. Actually, no. It feels like someone just like took a rock and slammed it on my shoulder for like 10 minutes. Not very good, and I don't, I, I don't even know why is doing that. Anyway, um, oddly enough, we haven't really dropped any frames, which is good, I guess. <laughs> oh well. I know you did not come down here much, but <laughs> I can track you through your bracelet and guide you from here.
God damn it. Something I'm supposed to be getting. Wait. I can do this. Look at that. Easy peasy. If you dare try to Metroidify me, you must die. Well, that's a very terrible joke. Yeah, at least I got some shotgun shells for it. <laughs> you were looking for me? Yeah, uh, what's the story on Michaela's office? I filed an incident report. Uh, well, I'm sure it's a page turner, but I don't have time. I need to get a crew on the other side of that breach. So what's the problem? Problem is, it's blacker than my butthole at the bottom of a well in there. The grounding resistor malfunctioned. Swap a new one and you should have your lights. Is that all? Hey, you sound rattled. What's up? I tried replacing the resistor yesterday. And? And it just melted into some kind of goo. Smelled like fried ass. Shit, man. That's not in the report, is it? <sighs> I need to get some sleep. My shift's over anyway. Maybe you'll have better luck. He did not like that. Okay, there's more than really? Come on. Okay. things are they supposed to be like robotic or what 
Because it seems like they'd be robotic. It also seems like they know exactly where I am. sucks but how am I gonna get in there then? I obviously can't go in there something right no. well that was something I, I guess what was that Please don't tell me I was supposed to grab something that I completely forgot because I'm kind of a dumbass. It, it sure as hell seems like that.
access code to part storage changed last shift? We had a short, so security came up and reset. Oh, sure. Thank you. Hey, maybe it's not my place, but... What? Spit it out. Well, it's just that there was a minor leak, and, uh... I, I told Connolly we should wait for new parts, but, uh... Duncan, I don't give a shit about your pissing contest with Connolly. Take it to Brooks. Code's embedded in this message. Did it ever occur to me to, you know, check for a dead body? I don't think so. I don't think it ever occurred to me. of shotgun shells just phase into the wall and disappear? If so, why? I needed that. How else am I gonna, you know, protect myself from whatever the alien things are? Yes, I know they're called Typhon, but, you know. I'm saying it ironically, you know?
Okay, well, we got that. Now, uh... What about this other one? Transcribe even survived that. Like, it was in fire for ago. God knows how yeah. long. Was it an ass kissing bird named Krasikov? Maybe. Care to elaborate? Not if I'm going to get my pee pee slapped. Of course. All done. Yeah. You and the eel tank. Ouch. Nah, supply was out of parts, so I borrowed a glue gun from the guys in hardware. Worked out okay. okay. Ingenious. Next time, let's make sure we have enough spare parts to do the job right. Roger that, boss. Integrity damaged.
Oh, I probably should have made two of those. <laughs> Substation power grid offline. Photovoltaic rings offline. Life support offline. Magnetosphere offline. Offline. Main reactor cold shutdown. In 3, 2, 1. Reactor successfully shut down. Initiating main reactor ignition sequence in 3, 2, 1. Gravity online. Earth online. Magnetosphere. Right. Warning. Reactor initialization interrupted. Routing auxiliary power. Connelly's. Durachok was supposed to check those diverters a week ago.
Stabilization complete. Systems restored. That did it. I'm showing power to the lifts and the airlocks, but seeing a lot of power spikes and leaks in the coolant chamber. Watch yourself on the way back. There could be other structural damage. Well, I see. You was... One is wide open now, clever. Reckless, but clever. Good to see some things haven't changed. I'm not gonna get in your way anymore. You deserve to hear the truth. All of it. Yeah, you Come damn my right. Office. Morgan, was that you? Whatever you did, I felt it in my gut. If this is some kind of payback, Power's coming back online. Oh, and that means the main lift, too. I hope. They better not be able to follow me up these. Careful, Morgan. Gas alarm went off in the coolant chamber after you powered the reactor back up. The turbines are hydrogen cooled. Now they're leaking. Please take a step and avoid all open flames or sparks until repairs can be made. Warning. Dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames or sparks and warning. Dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames or sparks until repairs can be made. Warning, dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames or sparks until repairs can be made. Note to self, don't use guns in highly flammable situations. Otherwise, dead. That did it. I'm showing power to the lifts and the airlocks, but seeing a lot of power spikes and leaks in the Chamber. Watch yourself on the way back. There could be other structural damage. Well, I see. You have said everything. Talos One is wide open now. Clever. Reckless, but clever. It's good to see some things haven't changed. Hmm. I'm not gonna get in your way anymore. You deserve to hear the alert. truth. Repair is needed. All of it. Careful, Morgan. Gas alarm went off in the coolant chamber after you powered the reactor back up. Morgan, was that you? Cool. Whatever you did, now I felt it in my gut. To take a shot if this is some kind of payback, it'll be like shooting a grenade. Power's coming back online. <sighs> and that means the main lift too. I hope. <sighs> nice work, Morgan. You'll be an engineer yet. Now, <laughs> get to the lift. Before I die in front of you, my lungs are fighting hard enough as it is, but now <clears throat> my vision's starting to go too. Damn it. I get up, <laughs> except for my legs and my lungs and my nervous system. Don't look surprised. Power plexus, remember? You warned me. The boosters are in my office. No way I'm getting there now. <laughs> Until repairs can be made. I 
am an idiot. Just, just remember that you're you're watching an idiot play this Nice game. work, Morgan. You'll be an engineer yet. Now, get to the lift before I die in front of you. My lungs are fighting hard enough as it is, but now uh, my vision's starting to go too. Damn it! I get up, <laughs> except for my legs. And my lungs, and my nervous system, don't look surprised. Power plexus, remember? You want me. The boosters are in my office. No way I'm getting there now. System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. You don't worry. It's a race against time, folks. Let's get her medicine and get it back. Get her from medicine back. <clears throat> Still, I, I have to say, I'm really, really glad that I figured out what I had to do in order to get my stream, like, running properly again. Because, like, this problem has persisted for, like, a week or something. So, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Morgan, you surprise the hell out of me sometimes. Please, right at the neck. Just look for the marks. <coughs> it was harder when I was doing it myself. <gasps> oh God, I can breathe again. And feel my legs. I still have some spots in the eye, but those should clear up. Thanks, Morgan. Nice work, Morgan. <coughs> You'll make junior engineer yet. Now, get to the lift, but be careful. No telling what got stirred up in the shake. I'll follow when I can. Meet you at your office. Warning. Dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evac tank integrity restored. Hydrogen loss reduced by 33%. That's what I have to do. Tank integrity restored. 
hydrogen loss reduced by 66%. Tank integrity restored. Hydrogen loss reduced by 99.79%. Welcome. This is Dr. Igwe. We made it to your office. I'll remain here until Dr. Igwe. My word. What are you? And why are you speaking in Morgan's voice? I am January. Morgan Yu's personal operator. Well, January. Sorry. Your arrival was a bit of a shock. Quite a day today, you know. If you are referring to the Typhon infestation of Talos 1, Dr. Igwe, you are correct. You are one of the few survivors. I... yes. It's... wait. Is that fabricator functioning? I might be able to make use of it. With your permission, Mo... Uh, January. You have authorization to work at the station, Dr. Igwe. And manufacture anything that will assist Morgan in containing the pipe. I'll remain here in your office until you return, Morgan. I may be able to be of use. I guess I figured out what I had to do there. Uh, seriously, like, like I said, you're dealing with an idiot. As in, I had no idea that the glue gun was gonna help me. Also, ah, you can't go up. Okay, well, you're dead now. Ha. Ah. You're, you're dead now. That's the joke. That's the joke, Mr. Mimic Typhon, whatchamacallit. That was terrible, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm known for some bad jokes, but that was too bad even for me. God, that felt good. Just pop my deck. from outside, huh? Fixed elevators. Thank you. Now I can move free. You, not so much. You are in life support. A jog there, I think. Eel tanks. Where your trans star food comes from. Chopped up and made new colors. I don't listen to, uh... He's not much of an imposter. He's more a betrayer. Also, if you heard any creaky just there, don't worry. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't fart. <laughs> it's just uh, I was moving around in my chair, and so naturally my butt makes a squeak. Not a fart. Anyway, um...
Hold, please. Thank you. Also, pardonly, uh, pardon the, <laughs> almost said pardonly, <laughs> pardonly the sniffly, pardon the sniffly. Hey, office, Morgan. I guess I see where all that trans star money goes. Chief Ilyushin, you're alive. Ige, you made it? Chief Engineer Ilyushin. What the hell? Morgan, is that? No, no, that is. I am January, Morgan Yu's personal operator. Talk about loving the sound of your own voice. So, it's the three of us. Four of us. Anyone else from the labs or psychotronics? Is that Morgan's workstation? And the fabricator? Chief Ilyushin, please do not- Morgan, come up here when you get a chance. I just love whenever yawning or allergies or both cause my nose to act like it's like on mood swings or some shit. I'm sending you the code to my graph shaft. Assuming it still works. Vital signs critical. Oh well fuck. Uh at least I have stuff to eat, right? No, 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 no,
Okay. Um. Four three five five. facilities? If so, this is a sentimental request, but my collection, the gallery of photos the others used to laugh at, each picture is a decryption key to a set of neural data. Can I the guests who came to the station? Among them, Leitner, the pianist, is... is dead now. We can't let those skills be lost. It's all that's left of them. Please, Morgan, if you can, I would be grateful. I'm sending you an audio file that will open this safe in my room. You can play it with your transcribe. Morgan, I won't be joining you. Don't worry, there's no trick. Just a gift from your big brother. It's the truth, like I promised. We were wild to dig it up. Someone wanted to hide it from you. My computer, another video. Give it a look and we'll talk. I'm sending you the password. Assuming you haven't hacked your way in yet. What the? Dude, what? Okay, what? That's it. Come on. My name is Morgan Yu. Year is 2035. I'm aboard the Talus One research facility. What else? Why are we making this video? Right. <laughs> because my big brother's paranoid. Psychometric data is showing statistically significant variance in personality patterns between trial runs of the new neuromods. Whatever. I feel more like myself than ever. I mean, look at this. We did it, Alex. It's real. Enjoy it while you can, because in a few minutes, it'll all be gone when we strip out the neuromods and we set. I know, including my memory of it. No way around it. Let's talk about the backup. So, the type and organisms have been producing an elaborate structure. Material is unknown, purpose unknown. Now, my gut tells me it's a kind of neural framework, but externalized. Still waiting on analysis to confirm. In the meantime, I've given Alex the design for a device I think could shut it down if it ever broke containment. <laughs> Alex just has to grow up here and commit. He don't have to take all the credit. What if it doesn't work? It'll work. Trust me. <laughs> what else are we going to do? Blow everything up? That won't save us. And if it does work, is it worth it? The people that come after us will be smarter, stronger, immortal. They can judge us if they want but they'll know they exist because of the things we did. I'm ready. Do it. Hmm. Well, there you have it. Everything I've done is what you've asked me to do. I didn't think you'd believe me unless you heard it from your own mouth. The tests, they changed you. Not a lot of 
at first, but eventually, the constant stripping of your memory. I didn't know who you were anymore. All I want is to have my brother back so we can finish what we started. The device you mentioned, it's an advanced version of the Null Wave. It's the only way to stop the Typhon without destroying everything we've been working toward. We're just missing some scan data from the Carl to complete the design. Help me finish this, Morgan. And then, you can have my arming key. I don't believe you want to use it anymore, but you can have it. I left the chip set for you on my desk. You'll need to upgrade your psychoscope to scan the Carl. I'll send you the scan locations. Morgan, that video was... I'm still checking it against my directives. But if scanning the coral will grant you access to Alex's arming key, then perhaps it's the best course. Perhaps knowing the coral's purpose will reinforce your decision to destroy Talos One. Just be careful. We're running out of time. All right. Well, I think we should probably go ahead and finish this. I know this is going to be a longer stream, but you know, it is what it is. But I will say this, this game, I love it. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry I have not had the opportunity to play it before on stream. I've been thinking about the video Alex showed you. Your brother believes that version of you is the true Morgan. But why? Just because it came first. If someone had made you, then I suppose your truest self would be the one that fulfills whatever purpose your maker intended. I know who made me, and why. Did someone make you, Morgan? Were you made for something? If not, you'll have to invent your own purpose, or have none at all. Strangely, of all the things I know about you, I don't know what you believe. You have to decide, Morgan. Who are you?
vital signs critical. a fabrication in the, the thing because seriously like I could have used some meta kits game come on like why you do this huh now granted I could have also eaten something but that only restores like 5% of my health and I prefer to have more health I don't know. Just irritating. This is court wind of the situation here. I suppose it was inevitable despite my efforts. That's why it's important we act quickly, decisively. They'll try to take this out of our hands, Morgan. Wait, hold on. I need to see something real quick.
Morgan you. <coughs> this part will work. We are over now. Ah, something Yeah, you know what, uh, I think that's good. afternoon, Talos. Join us in congratulating Dr. Lorenzo Calvino, winner of the Employee Innovation Award this quarter. Well, at least that Will Something's guy is dead. Bye. Actually, do that mission. I think it's just two of those, and I have like 200 health. I think I can definitely survive this. Uh, assuming I act quickly. Alright, so. Microgravity detected. Your mom's a microgravity.
Sort of the cutscene while I was being attacked. Let me out. Oh, good. Okay, now let's move. Oh, wait, I still need to take some of the, uh, Anti-rad. mission am I on? Because uh, the reason why I got is 102 right now. Wow. Uh, I'll play for a little bit longer and then I'm probably going to go to bed. Now, luckily I already brushed my teeth and put on deodorant like a while before I started streaming. So I don't have to worry about that. So I think after I'm done with the stream... Here's my terminal to upload it. Hold on. Keys to the kingdom. Okay. Integrated into the fabrication plan for the new null wave device as fast as possible. And be careful. The Typhoon will begin to sense our intent to harm the coral. 
They're gonna come after you. I left something for you on my desk that should help. Uh, okay. This is Commander Walter Dahl. The Transtar Board of Directors has authorized me to take full command of Talos One, effective immediately. All employees must now report to the Shuttle Bay for evacuation. Those of you <coughs> unable to comply, transmit an SOS and my team of rescue operators will locate you. One last thing. Alex and Morgan Yu have been relieved of their positions. Do not consent to their requests or assist them in any way. Dial out. Well, I'm done. It's Dahl. He already has his hooks into her. We made the system of what Talos want. I have to admit, I'm disappointed with our parents. Usually they had a contingency in place, but a small foolish part of me believed they wouldn't use it against their own flesh and blood. Regardless, we're not getting this coral data through until we do something about it. I don't like it, but you're gonna have to get into his command shuttle. See if you can locate his access point and cut him off. trying to Q-beam me? Wow. Those guys sure are mean. Stick with that. Eh, nice. 69. Run! I ain't got time to deal with this bullshit. Run! 
Oh. I was supposed to be going up there, okay? Or not? Wait. I'm supposed to be going to deep storage. I highly doubt you guys even know how to get down here. Do they? Okay, well, let's just hope not. Wait. Oh, shit! <laughs> they were going up to me like, Hey, buddy, where are you going? You want to die? <laughs> Pardon the language, by the way. Uh. Right. Okay. Um. Well, I think I know who the true antagonists are. It's not the Typhon. Morgan, I heard the announcement. No, no, I will not give you up. You are there for me, I am here for you. If you'd indulge me, I have a proposal that could get us off Talos 1 without any more bloodshed. Just don't harm Dahl until we've had a chance to speak in person. So badly. Ah. It, it, it's always those twists in video games that get to you. This is one of them. Of course, just. Oh boy. saying that because I normally am a level-headed and calm person 
at times, although I can get pretty excited sometimes whenever it's something I'm really excited for. But this is one of those times where I get panicked, and I do not work good in a panic. Especially since it's literally like early morning. I should probably be in bed by now. Wait. Doctor, you? Morgan? Oh, man. Thank God. I've just been going down the contact list hoping somebody would answer. I'm in Trauma Center. I came up here to look for supplies. I, I think I broke my arm when that blackout happened. Now I'm trapped. Aliens outside the door. I could really use some help, man. Oh my god, why? Why does this need to be a thing in the game? Why? Why would they make something like this? Where now you have to run away from murderous drone looking things that will hunt you down. Seriously. It, it just doesn't make any sense. You know what? I honestly, as much as I like helping people, I'm not dealing with this. Care. You know what? I know I've helped these people, but I need to get the hell out of here. Alright? Because this right here, this is the kind of stuff that makes me panic. Now, don't get me wrong, this game is still like a 10 out of 10. Or, I mean, 9 out of 10. But, to make a moment like this where you have to 
constantly be on the run from these murderous drone things and pray to high hell that you don't get spotted and shot down. Like, and if that wasn't enough, of course, I have low health. Warning. Final shot is critical. Oh, oh. <laughs> that right there is not fair. Okay? That is not fair under any circumstances. You're... This is terrible. This is terrible. So, I have 40 health, and you want me to risk my life by just... I don't know. I, I refuse. Now, bear in mind the fact that I literally have no healing items whatsoever. And you want me to use what little crap I Dash have. CM9, black box operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear of aperture. Oh god, it saw me. Dude, are you joking? 
You know what? This is horrible game design, okay? This is absolutely, utterly ridiculous game design. You want me to risk my life running through this just for what? Huh? Is it sure as hell isn't gonna be, uh, You got turrets. Final signs critical. make something like this. Okay? Whatsoever. I didn't even have a chance. Okay? And I want to play through this game. I really, really do. But this game, if it it's not giving me much choice, okay? It's about the, it's literally the equivalent of circumstances like this game design okay the fact that I have to run away from all these things bear in mind I'm playing on the easiest difficulty okay because I like playing on the easiest difficulty because nobody has time for this How do they find me? Oh my god. I'm just gonna stay here. I'm gonna stay here until either they go away. Oh, come on. This right here is horrible design. Okay? I don't care what anybody says. This design in a game is inexcusable. Look at this. You have all this. This right here, so, I need to look up something, because I, I have to just,
I... I can't believe I'm saying this. I really can't. And this is partially because of how infuriating this is. And how tired I am right now. Because it's like 1.30. I should be in bed by now. But poor old me didn't realize that this was going to be at the ending of the game. I'm, I am simply at a loss for words right now with how fucking stupid this is, okay? Because, look at this. So, you're telling me that I have to go past these guys, get a shuttle, and, you know what? No. I, there's got to be another way, and I did read online that, oh, well, you could just put stuff in front of the dispensers. What dispensers? What dispensers? Seriously, I don't have time for this, okay? It is literally 1.32 in the morning. I wasn't planning on this stream being this long. I was originally planning on it being like, done by midnight or something or maybe even before then but the fact that we have this right here this game why would you make a game like this where everything is all fine and then the very end of the game is when you have trouble. Because this right here, this is by far the most fucking stupid thing I have ever dealt with. I can't do this anymore. I literally cannot do this anymore, okay? And I'm sorry to say it, this game is good, but having to deal with that... Now, bear in mind, there are three endings in this game, okay? But the fact that the game just ramps up the difficulty this much... And again, bear in mind, I, I want you to keep in mind, I am playing this on the easiest difficulty there is, story mode. Story, you know, the easiest difficulty, you wouldn't have much difficulty, right? The fact that the game has the balls to do this to someone who quite literally is not very experienced with horror games for one. And second of all, 
doesn't like to get into really, really heavy combat, like, the only exception is Grand Theft Auto, because, you know, like, that's, that's perfectly fine. It's, it's a different gameplay style, sure, but at least it's more manageable. At least you're not having to... This, like, seriously, I, I'm curious now. What did people think of this game? Oh. Because, uh... The people who made this game must have been smoking crack or something. If they thought that it was a good idea... You have, uh, like, like, okay, here's the thing. I just looked up what story difficulty is. Turns out it's just an easier easy mode, which isn't saying much when all throughout the game, I only died like a few times, okay? But the fact that the game throws this at me, where I can't go two steps without getting shot at by laser drone things, I don't like that at all. It's the equivalent of giving kindergartners, like, high school exams after they've been so used to the normal kindergartner schoolwork, you know? Like, they wouldn't be able to handle that. They're little, little kids. They don't know anything about what would be on that, you know, high school exam. So, in that same concept, why would the developers do this? Seriously. I just can't. Now, don't get me wrong, this game, I, I loved it, but the second that you do that, the second that you pull the, oh, well, you know how you were playing on easy, right? Um, allow me to show you something. I want you to understand something, okay? The fact that the game decided, oh, well, uh, we're just gonna have a new bad guy and he's gonna send in like boatloads of military drones because fuck you, that's why. I'm sorry, I meant operator. <clears throat> Look at this. To get rid of the military operators, you just need to board doll shuttle in the shuttle bay to find the location of a second like like can i just say something Easy to sneak past.
hardly deadly. Seriously, like. I can't believe I'm saying this, but Kotaku actually makes a good point here. If you're playing Prey, the new immersive... Uh, okay. Yeah, you know what? I think I will stop playing. I, I, I will say this. I was happy that this game was given away for free because I hadn't played in quite some time. And bear in mind, that was my first time getting to that part of the game, okay? But, you know what? I'm just gonna say this. The developers... did not do a good job there, okay? Because again, even playing that easier story mode, or you know, a story difficulty, like, bear in mind, traditionally with a game that has multiple difficulty settings, story, or you know, like, the, you would think that the easiest difficulty, which is more for someone who isn't quite used to the game, or for someone who likes to play at their own pace without the stress of being murdered like 10,000 times, you would think that a difficulty setting like that would mean that they wouldn't have too much trouble fighting enemies or not at all. But then to have that thrown at you at the at the last part of the game. I, I can't believe I'm saying this. This game it had a nine out of ten all the way up until that point, and that point gets a two out of ten. Now don't get me wrong, it's really fun to try and hide away and run away from those little things, but they kill you so quickly. So I'm sorry, but this game gets a delete. I'm sorry. D like, I mean no hate to the developers, okay? I'm not trying to hate on them, they're just doing their job, but I am not a fan of when developers do that okay like I said it's the equivalent of little kids having schoolwork and then all of a sudden a teacher from a high school busts into their classroom and is just like hey you guys want some real work and then wham exam on their desk and it's stuff that the kids obviously don't know yet it's the same concept with this. You're thrust into something that you aren't properly equipped to handle because it's such a massive difficulty spike. Now bear in mind, again, playing on story difficulty, meaning combat won't be very challenging at all, even against the bigger enemies. But... Here I am, just repeatedly dying 20 times in a row to what are essentially military drones with BFG laser beams. So I'm sorry, but this Let's Play of uh, Prey 2017 canceled. I cannot do it anymore. I can't say this enough. Once you get to that part of the game, quit playing. I don't care if anybody convinces you to try a different method or something like that. It's not going to fucking work, all right? Like, seriously. You're, you're better off playing Doom Eternal on Ultra Nightmare. Because at least you already know what you're in for, all right? Or hell, just play it on Nightmare Difficulty. Because Nightmare Difficulty is for, like, the true hardcore pro players. But, with that being said, thank you for watching and witnessing my agony at the hands of, uh, 
arcane fucking just killing me over and over and over because, you know, gotta have that difficulty spike in a game where you're literally playing it easy because I chose story difficulty, but they decided to throw murder drones at me. Yeah, um, so I, I don't like that part of the game. Everything else, though, was fantastic. So my final score, because of that last part's experience that just slammed me into hardcore difficulty, just, I'm going to have to say this. The game was great, fantastic even, all the way up until the game decided, you know what, you had your fun, how about we have ours? So, this game gets a 7 out of 10, alright? It was a 9 out of 10 before, but to do that, unforgivable. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll uh, see y'all next time with uh, something different to ease the pain of what the fuck I just witnessed. Good night.